For rock climber Ken Yeager, entering Yosemite National Park... It's just like the movie. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> ...is different than most. Inspired by the big walls, the El Portel resident has been climbing in Yosemite his whole adult life. A day after getting his driver's license, he picked up his first hitchhiker. So, my name's Warren Harding, and he shakes my hand, I'm like, I know who you are. Harding was on the first team to climb the nose of El Capitan and he and Jaeger would go on to become climbing partners. But these days, Jaeger is best known for his cleanup efforts. I was angry and angry, and then finally one day I go, you know what? I can turn this around. Tired of seeing toilet paper at the base of climbing routes, Jaeger organized a three-day cleanup in 2004. 120 people took part. 15 years later, Yosemite Facelift has picked up more than a million pounds of trash. I kind of realized that we need to kind of get involved in the preservation of these public lands and become stewards. Last September, 3,000 volunteers cleaned up the park when Alex Honnold debuted his Oscar-winning film, Free Solo. A lot of people see in El Capitan, they think of Alex Honnold's free solo climb, but that is just one story for a sport that has decades worth of history. While Jaeger is known for Yosemite facelift, his ultimate goal is to open a climbing museum inside the park. This is from 1875. From the equipment that set up the cable route on Half Dome, to John Salathay's rope, to the shoes Lynn Hill used to free climb the nose for the very first time. My hands are bigger than her feet. He's collected more than 10,000 items from the world's greatest climbers and right now he's forced to keep it in garages and storage units. It's full of rope that was used on the first ascent of the nose. For 27 years he's been trying to get a museum placed inside the park's visitor center. I mean it's overdue but now it's pretty much can't stop it. It's snowballed. This month, Jaeger got a letter of intent from the park to finally build a museum, the biggest step forward in his 27-year mission. He hopes to have it built by the end of the year to inspire everyone who comes to the park. And people are fascinated. Most of them, they'll never go up on the rock there, but some of them go, oh wow, that doesn't sound as insane as it because you work your way up, right? And then they'll go and take a class and try it out for themselves. In Yosemite for Good Sports, Stephen Hicks, ABC 30, Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.